Hello, Scott McIntosh here, and uh, today's video we're just going to talk a little bit about bear baiting. We're going to talk about why we chose a certain area, the baits we use, how we go through the process of putting it all together. We'll show you, we'll talk about it. Uh, the only thing I don't really like about this site is it's pretty open, and in that sparse timbered area, the bears don't feel as comfortable. They're more likely to come in at night than they are during the daytime, but it is back and secluded um, away from roads and away from traffic, and so I think the bears are going to feel bears are going to feel pretty much comfortable in that area. Uh, the whole area is kind of open and sparse. So anyway, come join us. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna show you a few tricks that we know and, and how it's worked for us, and and hopefully it'll be fun and entertaining for you. Get your cage. Good, huh? All right, we're going to try to pull bears from up this draw, up this draw, and this is what I'm using to do it. I've never seen anybody else do this. This is my own concoction. I take a string down through a can and have put a knot in the bottom and then seal it, and then I fill it full of oil with sand in it, and I put that sponge sticking out the top so it wicks. And as it wicks, it comes up and then the wind picks that up and takes it. And then I just tie the, tie the string over a tree. Usually I go over a limb, but I'm short of trees in this area. I just tie it off. But anyway, that's all it is. I've kind of chosen this spot because it's, it goes forever over the top of that hill. It just keeps going and keeps going. Here's our tree that we're hooked to. We've got the um, frosting on there. We got the barrel getting filled up. We just went to get some more stuff and But anyway, this canyon just it just goes back forever All directions. There's still a lot of snow on that side, but I don't think that's gonna be a big deal. This other side is pretty opened up and In the evening this is this way is west. We're facing west with this camera So I want that to be uphill I want the dominant wind that usually comes from the west to be coming down this Plus in the evening thermals, it's going to continue down. And so we're going to have it go down through this draw right through here. And I'll put my stand over in one of these trees right here. So I'm down in the bottom and the, the air will drop right into the bottom and keep going out the, out the bottom. And the bears, like I say, should be in my favor because the bears are going to be coming from this direction from up above. They're going to smell that scent during the day when the thermals are going up and then in the evening when I'm sitting in my stand they're going to set thermals are coming down and so are the bears. Okay here's the barrel. We've got a bunch of stuff in the bottom before the oats. That's the oats and the peanut butter and below that is the uh, trail mix. And We've got all the holes drilled in the side of the barrel so this is a trickle barrel. It's going to have this cable hooked to this tree and then it's going to go back down there and they'll be able to tip it over, roll it around and the food will come out through those holes and they'll know it's for them because there's bears painted on the side of the barrel and so we won't get any raccoons, we won't get anything else because they'll know it's for bears. What we've got here is uh, frosting. Remember that vibrant frosting? We are going to put this all over the tree and we've got just a smidge left in here but what we do is we're going to smear this around. Oh, it's beautiful. And the bears are going to, first of all, see our beautiful artwork. And then they're going to lick the heck out of this thing. And so that's the thought. If it doesn't work, then, oh well. But that's the thought. So, okay, we're going to do some peanut butter, too. Oh. This is a bag of peanut butter. So watch this. Bears love peanut butter. We're going to come around the back side of the tree. My tree stand is going to be over there. And I think we're going to have... How many pounds of peanut butter do you have there, That's a lot. Dr. McIntosh? <laughs> that is a lot of peanut butter. And it's going to be all over me. It's going to be all over everything. Oh my gosh, they're going to love this. Holy crap, this is going to be fair. Oh, wow. When the tree huggers come to hug the tree, they can eat peanut butter while they're hugging the tree. Yeah, we should have had some jelly. What and frosting. We can bring in jelly tomorrow. Yeah. 
you want to put bread on it? <laughs> this is how you do it. And then you got that old commercial again of, hey, you got peanut butter in my chocolate. No, no, that's that, that, my peanut butter. You got peanut butter in my frosting. That's frosting, yeah. So that's it. They don't care. Peanut butter or frosting, they don't like it all. That gets pretty good. Oh, yeah. Yum, yum. Okay, so here we are putting the donuts on the top just to give them a good head start. And uh, the barrel's upright. When they tip it over and start rolling it, they'll probably eat all these donuts first and then roll those. Okay, remember this frosting that was, we added all the water to it. I kind of noticed that it stayed wet, but it definitely had some water separation at the bottom. We're going to dump this. Look at that. Oh my gosh. They are going to love that. Holy crap. Holy. You like Okay, so I took this oil and I added some, um, so I have some scents. Um, I have some gold rush and I also have some, uh, uh, what do you call it, anise and I have also have some uh, caramel. Um, so anyway, I'm going to use all this all around here. And this is something that you have to say when you're doing bear baiting. Everybody does. They say, oh, hey, we're going to put this around the ground. That way when the bears come in, they'll walk through here and they'll track it all over the forest. That is a state law. You have to say that when you're talking about a bear hunting video. So that's what we're going to do. And this has good smelling scent to it. Straight with french fries and the whole schmear. All right, then we got some, uh, this is Gold Rush. I've already sprayed the anise and, uh, and the caramel. And so we're gonna spray these trees. We've already sprayed the lower limbs and the leaves. But we're just gonna send a little more scent, maybe spray some more on here because we've handled this. We want it to get rid of our scent a little bit as much as we can. I, but anyway, here we go. This is gonna kill it. Put it on the leaves. Oh my gosh. Stuff smells so good. It's amazing. We are set. We got our bear, bear barrel, food inside. We got the donuts on top. We got all the frosting. We got peanut butter and frosting everywhere. Now we're setting the camera. We didn't have a good place to put a tree, so we're going for it right here on this little stump and kind of strapping things together to see if we can get it to stay tight without the bears moving it. This is going to be a trick. All right, it's as simple as that. The bait is set. We're ready to get out of there and leave it uh, for the bears to come enjoy this tasty, tasty treat.